Hey folks, Rath coming at you with another one. So as promised from last week, doing a dive into Claire for PvP. I will be using my own account today and I'll be demonstrating the discrepancies between, I would say, the power level in my account and some of the folks who I'm attacking. TLDR, I think she is fantastic. And for anybody that hasn't picked her up yet, I, I would recommend heavily that you do. She rounds out a Vanguard team really well and with the right gear and the right setup she can she can beat teams that are significantly more progressed and involved than her so let me jump into how i've decided to build her so i've got her in a fully tempered charge set and a bless set here uh, you'll notice immediately that i've got her in hp gloves and then accuracy helm and the reason that i've got her in accuracy helm here is because of her first skill meteor storm so if you look at the talent effect if you get up to 150 accuracy she has a two second stun and so with the rest of the setup that we'll talk later that effectively gives her a lot of crowd control quickly want to mention that if i could get her to 150 accuracy without an accuracy helm i'd absolutely do so and then i've got her in dr boots i i want her to survive as long as possible to continue to stun as possible or as much as possible rather and then ultimately she does put out a ton of damage also want to demonstrate to you guys here what my aries build is so i've got one fully tempered charge set that i switch between these two i don't have two you'll notice that i'm working on a second ideally i'd love for both of them to be in charge sets now in terms of the commander that i'm using i'm using i would say a fairly decent hagridon commander it does not have claire on it so that would certainly help but it's got plus one all skills to barog and then plus two to Ares, with the various substats that help front row and vanguards so i would say this is a very very decent one for me if i if i had any potential to change i would say getting claire on here would help um, the other thing to note is that all three of the prototypes that I'm using below, so Prism, Rev Crystal, and the Impulse of Annihilation, are specifically picked to help with stun effects, specifically helped with for crowd control effects, and then specifically helped to provide damage upon shield explosion. In this specific setup, you may have noticed that this is a very advanced hunter team. It has a maxed Artemis. So the logic that I'm using here is I'm leveraging Teresh to throw Claire into the backline and then Miranda as well uh, to provide the attack out boost, but also the, the resurrection. And this isn't 100% consistent with my gear on my account, but certainly if I was closer to a level here that the, the following gentleman had, I would beat it way more consistently. So versus an SP hero Artemis we just got released, Claire and Ares are fantastic to use. All right, second lineup that I've got here is a maxed assassin with a Caraxia build. Without Samael in this team, I just crush this team all the time. The, the main point of contention here is Samael, and so he introduces the variants and the rng -ness. If you can get him killed or the other supporting characters like Fiona killed, you do have, I would say, a fairly consistent route for beating teams like this. If the Samael is built really well, if he's in a tempered fade out set, uh, you run into issues here. So the entirety of the assassin matchup depends on how far their Samael is maxed and less so where Caraxia is. At least that's been my experience so far. So that takes care of sp artemis that takes care of sp cora and you'll do fairly well against those two teams this is another team that has i would say put a fair bit of thought into how it's composed so you've got zeus in the back to prevent teresh from being and being useful and throwing people into the back line and then you've got Ares as well to help soak up some of the damage up front so th this is a very good team i would say overall but the power dynamic between my team and his team is ultimately what helped win here. Uh, okay, third or fourth team that I wanted to showcase is how well we do against summoners. This team specifically, I know, has an awakened uh, Daniel at uh, level six. So all the other components are very similar to traditional summoner teams. 
except what I wanted to demonstrate here was at least for a non-fully awakened Daniel, uh, we still crush summoner teams with vanguards. All right, jumping more into a traditional team that's got Nord, that's got Jaina, that's got Luke and Rez involved in it. Uh, we do fairly well here uh, as well. It, it does not have Coralus or Zeus, but I would say that the result would be very similar. I would just take out Teresh for another Vanguard. You do got to be careful for very well-developed teams that have Zeus and Jaina. You could potentially get one shot without Rage being built. But for a lot of teams that aren't well-developed, this would work well against it. And then finally, I want to wrap up the video by demonstrating a tank team. So very traditional tank team that's used right now. You've got three or four tanks using Tachikoma, using Panda, using Teresh, using Wamagon, and then uh, Puranasaki for, for defense and offense capabilities. Tank team, I would say, poses a fair bit of problems to my summoner team. However... The, the two main points of contention, I would say, would be either a really well-built Pandemonium or a really well-built Wamigon. It's almost impossible to kill them with the following setup. So the two gotchas to a Vanguard team that I would say in its current state would be an energy team, would be a tank team that would almost hard counter it if they're built similarly. If they're not built similarly, then you'll have these results. So hopefully that demonstrates how great of an addition Claire would be to any Vanguard team. Catch you all on the next one. Peace.